All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the song is um, White and Pink Slip Blues uh, by the artist uh, Hank Williams Jr. Listen, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Um, let's go ahead and just jump into this immediately, all right? Let's go and check it out. All right. <laughs> Country superstar. Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. I think I have, um... Wait, no. Have I heard this guy? No. He's too young. Um, I think I've accounted his father, potentially. Hank Williams Sr., maybe. Yes? Let's continue. I used to love this town. And this neighborhood. The streets were safe. Schools were good. The mill was humming 24 7. I was forming on the line 3 to 11. Oh, the working man story. Don't think I'm not paying attention, guys. I'm listening thoroughly, but I'm just trying to find some lyrics while we're here. Um, yeah, this is just the, uh, the story of the working man. Yes? Let's continue. Three to eleven. Three to eleven. <clears throat> but eighteen months, two days ago, the mill closed down and moved to Mexico. Yeah, cheaper workers, guys. Be fully aware. Um, the concept of this is absolutely terrible. Like, the concept of losing American jobs to foreign laborers is absolutely terrible, guys. But, um, unfortunately, they're winning in the you know, the ability to work for, for less money. Um, this is terrible, guys. Um, the song starts out by saying, uh, um, I used to love this town, this neighborhood. The streets were safe and the schools were good. That was when money was flowing through the town, um, obviously. And then, uh, has well... Schools have a lot to do with taxes, right? So, like, if the um, if the neighborhood starts losing its overall value, right, that means less taxes are being paid. That means schools are going to suffer. The streets are going to suffer, right? Um, everyone's losing them. You know, with poverty comes crime. So, um, the story he's telling is a story of a, of a town that used to obviously be successful. Then jobs started being shipped out, right? And uh, everything starts falling down because there's no more money floating around, um, you know, to pay these, uh, um, the land taxes, right, that fund all the other local institutions. Um, horrific. So far, the song is great. I mean, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it in itself is a conversation, right? Let's get it. The mill closed down and moved to Mexico. Listen, as of right now, I think the song is actually absolutely perfect. It's coming from the standpoint of, of like, you know, random towns in, like, West Virginia, uh, towns that were built off of mining, right? It's coming from that, that perspective that is rarely ever, um, unfortunately, cared about in, you know, mainstream media, etc., right? Um, no one generally cares to hear the story of the people whose towns were once booming and are no longer, right? Um, wow, listen, continue speaking your truth, bro. Pink slip, pink slip. I think everyone needs representation, so in Ricky Brown's garage. All right, over on the next block. 
there's a repo man to dodge. I slip <laughs> out the back door. Lord, I never thought I'd live to see this day. We're going to need that truck. When they come to take the house away. You know I love my country. And I'm not one to complain. But there's a lot of us that feel like we've been left out here. Out in the rain. Yeah, that's kind of the point I was, I was saying, guys. It's like this. This song is purely dedicated, um, and being narrated in a sense coming like, coming from you know small town America, Appalachia, right? Like the areas that are that that were once booming and are just literally now long forgotten, right? Some parts of Pennsylvania, um, etc. Towns built off of manual labor, right? Because you know America is basically pushing itself towards the you know the future in a sense, and a lot of these things are being outsourced now. Because they want people to, you know, do different things. Um, but what about the people who just like doing that? You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, as I said, everyone kind of needs, every every single group needs uh, you know, representation. And I think that group specifically may need more of it because they are actually Americans and they're being left out. So you get what I mean? Let's get it. So quick volume check over here. is like perfectly meant for this genre of music right. like without a doubt his voice is perfectly meant for this genre of music not a single complaint that i can give here guys um, i love i love his ability to also tell a story um you know and just uh give representation to a group that is not represented that is not represented at all guys right so listen now uh, let me know in the comments the next one of these uh from him specifically you'll be here and i'll uh, jump into that immediately guys just let me know and um you guys all have an amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly all right.